my ultimate guide to making soft and fluffy brioche burger buns that don't fall apart with that juicy burger. Way better than shop bought. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Now I love a good burger and to make a good burger you need to start off with a really great brioche bun. Now these brioche buns are light and fluffy but they've got really good structure so they don't fall apart with that juicy burger and I'm going to talk you through some of the bits that people often get wrong. We're going to start with 240ml of warm water in a jug. To that we're going to add 3 tablespoons of warm milk, 2 teaspoons of dry fast acting active yeast and 2.5 and tablespoons of caster sugar. Give it a stir and leave it for 5 minutes until the top of the liquid starts to foam slightly. Now it's really important that the mixture has foamed at this point. If it hasn't then your yeast isn't active and you'll have to start again with a new packet of yeast. Now onto the flour. So I've got 360 grams, which is about three cups of strong bread flour here. And you want to pour that into your stand mixer or into a large bowl if you're doing it by hand. Add in 60 grams or half a cup of plain all purpose flour, two and a half tablespoons of soft unsalted butter and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Mix together using the beater attachment for a minute until you can no longer see the lumps of butter. This is the texture you're after. Add in the water and yeast mixture and one large egg to the flour and butter mixture. Then beat again using the beater attachment for 10 minutes on medium speed. If you're mixing the dough by hand, I'd recommend mixing it in the bowl with lightly oiled hands as the mixture is very sticky. After 10 minutes, the dough will come together in a soft, slightly sticky ball. You might notice that I only added one egg to the dough, whereas many brioche recipes call for at least three eggs. Adding just one egg in there helps to ensure that we get that brioche flavour, but it also helps to ensure we have a stronger structure of bread. Place the dough in a large oiled bowl and cover with cling film. Now you want to lightly oil the bowl so the dough doesn't have any resistance whilst it's proving. And we're going to leave it to prove in a warm room for about one to two hours until doubled in size. Now I've got a large baking tray here lined with a silicon mat. And once that dough has doubled in size, we're going to lightly flour the work surface and tip the dough out. Now we want to knock the air out of the dough. Cut the dough as evenly as you can into eight pieces. I weighed each of mine and they were 97 grams or 3.4 ounces each. Now we're gonna shape the dough pieces. So first we want to lightly flour our hands, then pick up a piece of the dough and flatten it in your hands. Place it on the work surface and bring in the edges to the center to form a rough ball shape. Turn the ball over and gently roll it into more of a ball shape and then place on a large baking tray with the smoothest side at the top. Cup your hands around the sides of the ball and give it a little squeeze just to add a tiny bit of height. Repeat with the remaining dough, ensuring there's at least a couple of inches between each ball as they will expand. Place the baking tray in a large carrier bag, making sure none of the bag touches the dough. Now we're going to let them prove in a warm room for a second time until almost doubled in size, which should take another hour or two. After 
after that second prove you want to preheat your oven to 200C or 400F and then we're going to make the egg wash to go on top. Whisk a large egg with a teaspoon of cold water. Take the tray out of the bag and gently brush each of the buns all over the top and sides with the egg wash. Make sure you don't have too much egg wash on your brush, otherwise it will run down the sides of the buns and pool at the bottom, leaving a crispy craggy edge. Now you can leave the buns plain, or if you prefer, sprinkle on a tablespoon of sesame seeds. Or if you like, you could sprinkle on a tablespoon of everything spice. Place the buns in the oven and cook for 15 minutes until golden brown. Take out of the oven and leave to cool for 5 minutes on the tray before removing from the tray and cooling further on a cooling rack. And that's how you make fantastic, soft and fluffy brioche buns. They require a little bit of patience, but they're so worth the wait. Really hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please like and subscribe, and make sure to hit that bell to be notified of new recipes every week. See you next time.